In this code.org lesson, we're going to use loops or repeat blocks to draw. Should be exciting. I'm not that great of a drawer. Hopefully I can code. I can. Let's begin. Hi, I'm an artist. You can write code to make me draw almost anything. Play with the blocks in the toolbox to see what you can do. Okay, well, we have a workspace run. Oh yeah, nothing's going to happen. I'm going to try to move forward and then turn right maybe. Ooh, what if I just set the color different? And then what if I turn... Oh, I should uh, move forward and let's see. Ha. Oh, well now, what if I did all this? I don't know, what if I repeat this and go turn right and then set color random? I guess I'll repeat it four times. Boom, and notice the code in here repeats. Oh, I have to move though. Lame. Cool. All right, onward. Here we are, let's make a cage for my pet monster. Ooh, drag blocks onto the screen to have the artist draw all the gray lines in the picture. Okay, so I have one block on the screen. There's two gray lines. Let me just do a move forward 100 and see. We can always, oh, that was good, but it looks like we're not quite done. Um, is this a left or a right? I think that would be a right, and then move forward again. And let's see, oh yeah, I'm using four out of four blocks, so code always runs in order. Let's see if this works. Cool. Onward, video, next. All right, this spaceship needs a window. Heck yeah, it does. Let's see what we have on this screen already. Okay, so they provided us with three blocks. They want us to use no more than eight. So I'm turned now. What if I just go move forward and then turn right again and move forward? I'm just throwing stuff down, honestly. Oh, that looks good. Now, what if I turn right and move forward again? Well, then I have eight out of eight blocks. This is one way to do this. I'll run this. It will work. Joop, boop, boop, boop. But wait a minute. Replay. If you're repeating yourself in code, there's an easier way to do it. So what if I turned right at the end? That wouldn't really matter. And then look, move forward, turn right four times. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Repeat four times. Zoop and zoop. Now everything in this pink mouth thing will happen four times. So I'll move forward, I'll turn right, I'll hit the bottom. Zoop. Second time, zoop. Third time. And if there was stuff below it, after four times, it would run the code below. So now we did all that with just four lines of code. Onward. Oh no, Starla's pet alien just flew away. Let's help the space woman. Finish Starla's rocket ship to chase her pet. Each side of the triangle is 100 pixels. Okay, well that's helpful. Let's move forward 100. And has a 120 degree outer angle? Ooh. So is it going to be right or left? Honestly, let's throw something out and test it. That's the great thing about code. Oh yeah, cool. Okay, and now what is it going to be? Mm, up here? Maybe left? And again, not 100% sure, but code. We can guess and see. Six blocks out of six, so I have used the maximum amount of blocks now. Oh, awesome. So with code, never be scared to be wrong. Let's see what we got here. Challenge. Puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Oh, we're so ready. Can you figure out how to draw the outline? All right, so look at this. This looks longer than the lines that we've been drawing. We have one block here, and we can use up to 12. Well, like always, I'm just going to start testing. I think, let's see if it is longer. Yep, that is looking longer. So let's try, I don't know, 200? Nah, let's do 150. Okay, reset, run. Cool. Now what about this angle right here? Well, if I do a 90, it looks, a 90 is a right angle, right? So that's going to be zoop, straight up. Also, it looks like I need to turn right. What if we do, I'm not sure, what if we try a 120 on this guy? And let's move forward after. Whoop, 120. Not great, so let's do 120 left. You can be wrong a billion times in code, right? We're just testing. Okay, well, what if we do 45? And that worked for me, except this is looking a bit too long. Hmm, maybe 75? Ooh, that's looking better. Well, now what? Hmm, now I'm going to want to turn right 45, turn left 45, 90? Let's try 90. See how I'm just literally throwing stuff down and testing it? So it looks like maybe I want to go right. And this looks like a square angle, and that's why I did 90 here. Okay, and that was too much, so let me try 75. And then let's see if I go right by 45, maybe? Or it might now be left. And then forward by 150, maybe? Oh, cool! Right by 45, and forward by 75. Cool, and so now I think I just need to turn right 90. And do another, we know these sides are smaller, so forward by 75. Let's try. 
Bum, bum, bum. Now, let's see if there's an easier way. Do I repeat myself? Forward 150, right 45, forward 75, right 90, forward 75. And if I turned right again at the end by 45, would that matter? No, that'd be fine. So instead of doing all of that code, we're repeating ourselves, I can always just do a repeat block. I'll do it two times, drop and drop, and let's try. Pretty cool, it does the same thing with less code. Onward. You can create this star by looping a sequence of move forward and turn right 144 degrees blocks. Okay. Oh, wow. They only want us to use one move forward and we're supposed to use five blocks. I'll leave the set width since they have it. Move forward and turn right 144 degrees. Okay. Now let's just test out what they might mean here. I'll move forward and turn right again. I'll move forward and turn right again. Obviously, I'm now using too many blocks, but we're just testing. Ooh, okay. So what if I keep doing this? Well, I'm going to be over on blocks. But if you're repeating yourself in code, bloop, 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 there's a better way. We have a repeat block. So goodbye and goodbye and goodbye. So let's try our repeat block. Instead of doing this four times in a row, now we didn't repeat width. That we're only setting once. Let's do it like this. And how many lines are there? Were there five maybe? Oh, it looks like six. Oh, nope, there are five. So right there, one repeat block, and we get all of that done. And we've used five out of five. Onward. All right, loops sure make writing code easier. Use loops to draw this staircase. Each stair is 50 pixels and, at long and 50 tall. You need to turn 90 degrees. All right, so I have two blocks, and I can use seven. So they're 50 long and 50 tall. Turn 90. Turn right 90? Maybe. I'm just, again... You don't have to be correct the first time. Code. Test. 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 Boom. Ooh, that's looking good. That was not good. So where did I go wrong here? I think right there. Yep. All right. Well, let me keep going. Obviously, I'm using too many blocks. And it's fine. Because I'm just trying to figure out what is going on right now. So let me turn right again. And then move forward again. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. But uh Cool. I'm way over on blocks. How can we fix this? I hope you're yelling at your computer and me. Because if I'm repeating code, blop, and blop, and it wouldn't matter what if at this very end I turn left again. Does that change anything? Nah. So move forward, move forward, turn right, turn right, forward by 50, left. Same thing here. I don't need to write this out three times. Code lets us be lazy. Let's repeat this whole thing. Oop. We don't need to set the width three times. We could have it in there, but it just doesn't make sense. You can do that once, then run this code here, the stuff we did repeat. Victory! All right, this staircase is much bigger, but it takes the same amount of code as the last puzzle. Fix to complete. Well, let's see what's going on here. One, two. Oh, notice we only go down three stairs, and I have a three here. Five, six, four, five, six. Well, maybe if I put a six, then I'll draw the other three steps, because we can repeat this code without dragging out all these blocks. So it should run everything in here six times, and now, boom. That was easy. Ooh, another challenge. Best parts. Challenge puzzles or lessons. Yeah, we're ready, please. Look at the pattern and make this code shorter using a loop. Well, let me first see what it does. Oh, uh, are we going to go all the way around? Gotcha. Okay, they want it shorter. So let's start looking for repeated code. Well, I see set color, move forward, turn. Set color, move forward, turn. Hmm, that's suspect. Set color, move forward, turn. Hmm, set color, move forward, turn. Set Hmm. 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 Look at me. Boom. They're repeating themselves. We can be lazy. Notice, though, they only set the width once, so we probably won't need that in a repeat, but let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we get to be lazy here. Loops, or repeat blocks, are used throughout programming. Instead of rewriting the exact same thing, make the computer do our work. So, I think I said six, hopefully. Boom. And then width, width wasn't something they repeated, so we can just leave it out. It will run width once, and then repeat the code of drawing it. Up! Oh, I must have said eight. Counting is hard. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Ta-da! Awesome. 